Hey, there we go. No song. It's back at it. Another episode of Make It Hope. Back at it again. We're uh, the shittiest Zelda game. We're still playing Skyward Sword. I took a good 30 minutes or so to an hour to get through all the bullshit. Ooh. So that we can just go on our adventure. Where'd my shield go? I'm wearing my glasses today, and now I can truly appreciate how pixelated this is. Nice. <laughs> so you couldn't even see it before. I mean, like, I could see that it wasn't HD, my... but uh, this is pretty fucked. There we go, my shield. Yeah. But I got my, I got my clothes. You got I'm wearing, Navi? I'm wearing clothes. I've got Navi. She's very obnoxious. Yeah, uh, Link she's still has the worst running animation of any Zelda game of all time. Uh, but we gotta go to there. We gotta go to that light so we can go to the woods, I guess. Cool. Uh, why are we going to the woods? So that we can save the 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 people of the woods. Um, We're looking for a bunch of stone tablets. So that we can stop Ganon, because he's a bad boy. Oh, no. It smells like farts in here. It Do you smell, smell that? It smells like farts in here. It's that weird sewer smell that it comes around. It is the sewer smell that... It, it only happens during the summer. Yeah. I'm not sure what causes it. It's so Oh, God, weird. it's so bad. Okay. Uh, it really makes me nauseous when so I start smelling that. What happens is, every summer that I've lived in this house, once it gets hot enough, Intermittently, it will just Ooh. smell like farts in the house. And I imagine it has something to do with, like, the sewer system or pipes that are near us or something. Because it just comes and goes, and it's really yeah. bizarre. But, like, we're not near, like... We're not near the... At our uh, old house. Any kind of plants yeah. that put off... Where me and Conrad used to live, there was... There's, like, an actual Hampton Road sewer department right next to it. So, like, that smell would come drifting in from there and from the waterways. Yeah. Like, we aren't close to anything that should be this fucking stinky. Maybe it's the road work? I don't know. I mean, they are messing with sewer lines there. Uh, God. But this has been something that happened since I moved in here. It's one of those where, like, people are so optimistic about humanity achieving space travel and going to Mars and stuff. It's like, dude, we can't even figure out our own fucking sewer systems. We're fucked. Yeah. It's People think bad. we're so far ahead in technology and we're not. Talking about being immortal and reversing aging and yet our fucking. We can't even get the smell of the sewer out of our house! Can't even have a house that doesn't smell like farts. We need to fix the basic problems of life. Stop trying to go to Mars, Elon fucking Musk, and maybe revolutionize the sewer systems in America or figure out what to do with all of our fucking trash. Well, I mean, isn't that why he's building the underground tunnels in California? So we can just store all the homeless people in there? Yeah, in the trash. Just take all the trash and the homeless people trash down there. Trash and, and the homeless, them. which are synonymous. I have a mole society or something. Home Fucking homeless Christ. people are trash. Sailcloth. Whoa, I'm in the woods. Whoa, this is pretty great. It's I'm in the hundred acre woods. Oh Mr. god, Fago. there's just so much talking. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're here. You got it. It's 100 uh, degrees outside today. It is. Virginia has been having uh, quite the heat wave. You always get that, like, nostalgic summer feeling. You look outside and it's all bright and sunny. You're like, man, we could go play outside. And then you're like... And then you're like, wait, it's 100 It's 100 degrees. degrees. This is why we weren't outside as kids. Because it fucking sucks. Yeah, because it's hot as shit. All of all of these fucking Gen Xers and boomers think that, uh, oh, kids won't go outside anymore. And it's like, you were outside because you were forced to go outside because you had nothing to do. If you had anything to do inside, you wouldn't have gone out there because it fucking sucks. It's so hot. <laughs> exactly. Fucking boomers. Got you. Eh, boomers. Eh. That's right, you have to use strategy based on which way its mouth opens to hit oh, him. Geez. Because everything in this game is fucking frustrating Motion as shit. Motion control. Because <laughs> now every encounter has turned into this fucking horrible battle with the Wiimote. <laughs> the real enemy is the Wiimote. Yes. yes. As a Link walks around like a fucking idiot holding his sword out. Herp, 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 herp. Wow, these guys are mad threatening. Yeah. Put my shield up. Get ready, bitch. Whoa. Yeah. Got him. You're em. doing great. I'm so proud of you. Look at me. Look at me. I love how you're running with your sword just like straight Huzzah! Out. 
This isn't a weird immersion breaking shit. It's not like I have a Wiimote and a nunchuck on my screen at all times. No. As Link runs around holding his sword forward Straight like a fucking dumbass. Out in front of him. Such a fucking weird game. Oh shit. Looks Whoa. like it's time for more plot. This game looked good for a moment, and then you look down at this incredibly bland scenario. Ah! Here we go. Yep, the Ganon's down there. I get it. Who? Uh. Ganondorf. Oh, of course. Yes, everyone's favorite villain, Ganondorf. What do you guys do outside? Does anyone play outside anymore? No one who watches this show goes outside. Nobody plays outside. Precisely. There's a tiny window where outside is okay. It's it's like April and May. Yeah. And September, October. Mm -hmm. Those are the months where being outside is okay and acceptable. Yes, I agree. And then the rest of the year is fucking awful. Impossible. Don't even bother. Don't leave your house. You might be thinking, oh, what about March? That's the beginning of spring. Yeah, well, that's where your allergies are going to be going fucking insane. Well, and you're and being tortured to death. And it's still cold. And it's still cold as shit. What about November? That's not quite winter yet. Outside. Fuck November. Sometimes it is 60 degrees in November. It all just depends. Yeah. November doesn't exist. It's the shittiest month of the year. Oh, what, Thanksgiving? Fuck. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I mean, Thanksgiving. Who remembers shit. anything they did in uh, November? Uh, I mean, there's a Tyler the Creator song called November, so I guess that's something. What an idiot. Why would he name a song after such a shitty bum? <laughs> uh, I mean, you Anywho, know. Anywho, uh, our plane's all Yeah. Well, I mean, speaking of leaving the house, we did leave the house earlier this month. Uh, where did, what? Where did we go? We left the house for 4th of July. Oh, we did. Uh, you want to talk about that? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> uh, we went to Conrad's house for 4th of July. Because they, they already talked about it. Yeah, that's true. This is the, the unfun thing. Because they, all they did was talk about literally the things that we have to talk about. Yeah, which is that the funny part. We we barbecued, we, we grilled, and that was fun. And we drank alcohols, and that was fun. And, uh, we hung out. <laughs> yeah, but also, there was, uh, the incident of alcoholic beverages being stored in May's backpack and then spilling all over yes, May's backpack. Yes, which was pretty fucking hilarious. Oh. It was, it was, uh, very much, I guess there's, the, the one interesting part is the, the difference in group dynamic hanging out with, with Connor and May versus, like, most of Hope's friends, I guess. <laughs> Which is, because usually we spend 4th of July and New Year's with your friends. Yeah. For uh, at least the last few years. And it's like, there's just a, dif a difference in what people want to do. Certainly. Which is like, me and you are super low-key and we don't really think about doing anything. We just yeah. want to hang out. We don't really have the urge to go anywhere or We're do anything. just chilling. And then usually your friends are also like, they just want to hang out and don't really have the urge to go anywhere or do anything. Yeah. So we generally will hang out and we'll sit around and watch something stupid and we don't really go anywhere or do anything. Yeah. But Connor and May are both like, they really want to go places and do things. And like, I'm fine with going places and doing things. I just never have the urge to go do that. You right. know, I don't have the idea to do it. So when Connor and May are like, oh, we want to go to the ocean front and see the fireworks... Me and you are always initially like, that sounds fucking awful. Why would I want to do that and be surrounded by human beings by and be in this, this nightmare? <laughs> thousands of people. But that's also how we end up never doing anything every year for a holiday. We just kind of sit around and we drink a little bit. Yeah. And it's not bad, you know? It's just we also didn't really do anything. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all kind of the same. Yeah. But hanging out with them, it's like, alright, we went to the ocean front, and, like, there were aspects of it that were awful. It did suck. <laughs> but it was a funny story <laughs> and an experience that we had outside of the house, you know? There's a trade-off. This is true. I guess you have to pay, uh... Yeah. There's a price. Because any entertaining story or scenario, there's all... It, it's always about something shitty that happened, you yeah. know? That's, that's where stories come from. You sit around the house and you don't really do anything, and it's it's fine, you know, but it's just another day. 
it's not really mixing it up. Yeah. So it was nice to mix something up for once. I don't know. I hope I don't sound like an asshole being like, oh, Hope's friends are boring. No, <laughs> they're just That's not what I mean people. to say, but they're yes. Different kinds of people. But it's interesting to, to, to have a different Raise sort of skyward. holiday. Okay. There you go. <laughs> yep. All right. Not paying any attention at One all. One of us had to read. <laughs> yes. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's just different kinds of people. Uh, the, the, I mean, the fireworks were definitely very pretty. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've been actually up close to a fireworks exactly. show. And it's like, I don't, so I wouldn't nice. say we go out and do that every single year, you know, but it's at least fun to have like the, the one holiday in the year where we left the house <laughs> and didn't just sit around and drink, you know? Yeah. And I mean, I would have liked to uh, hang out longer afterwards and like go to Chicho's and get yeah. pizza or whatever, but I had to fucking be up, of course, at 5.30 in the morning the next day. Yeah. And it was already like 11, and I was like, I'm going to be so fucked if I don't try yeah. to sleep. <laughs> so one thing I, I, I will miss about having friends sometimes is that like on a holiday, we would like have a, you know, have a big gathering, get real fucked up, stay up till six in the morning, and, like, it would, we would really do something, and I would remember it, you know? But generally, we kind of, like, oh, it's, it's kind of like hanging out with your grandparents, where it's, like, every single time we show up, we sit down, we have the same dinner, you know, and yep. then it's, like, you're not really doing anything. See. You were right. Yep. I have to douse. And then you have to douse Zelda. I don't know why. Oh my god, this sucks. I so I'm I'm <sighs> dousing for Zelda. Where where is Zelda? Okay, there you go. So I'm, I'm dousing. Down. Yeah. Somewhere over there then. And I there I guess go. we have to go. Okay, I guess we go right there. Go there? Yeah, I guess. Uh Anywho, I'm anyway, sorry I keep yeah. burping. But yeah, you get what I'm saying, you know? It's like you get together with the same people, you do basically the same thing. Yeah. And then it's year after year, you know? It starts going, alright, here we go. It's Thanksgiving at Hope's grandparents, you know exactly what to expect. The same conversations are had, basically. Yeah, but there's really nothing we can do about that. Yeah, They're 90, I know. nothing's gonna change. <laughs> but it's, you know, so I'm like, it's, it's nice to just mix it up now and then. So that every year we aren't doing exactly the same thing. Yeah. It's like every every holiday doesn't have to be an exciting, like, go to the fort, the fucking ocean front and suffer through a bunch of the nightmare of a billion and three Mexicans hanging out, bathing their children, going oh into a- Oh my god, Oh god, they didn't so talk great. about the porta potty. Fucking- <laughs> I go to use, me and Connor go to use the bathroom, and I'm waiting in this line, and Connor goes in a stall, and I'm still sitting there waiting, and like, this dude finally comes out of this stall, and another guy goes in with this kid, and he literally looks in and goes, nope, not going in there, and then he, he goes, we can go pee on the, on the beach, and they just go to pee wherever, and I'm like, oh god, it must be real fucking bad for this dude to just nope out of there like that, yep. and so I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, so that stall is empty, but I know it's horrible. I'll wait for this stall to be less horrible. And I'm like, let me check out that stall. I go in, the shit, literal human shit, is coming uh, up above the rim of the uh, toilet. Mountain of shit. And I'm like, yeah. nope. And then there's like all these like, you know, Mexican family next to me. And they're like, oh. And then I'm like, you don't want to go in there. And they're like saying in Spanish to each other. like, oh, it's, it's, you know, the puto that's, that's or whatever. <laughs> Like, oh, don't go in there. El poop. <laughs> El, El poo <-poo. laughs> And I'm like, they fucking know. That shit's gross. And then I wait for Connor to get it. I go into his. And it's just as bad. Of it's course. just as fucking bad. Yeah, because everyone's been shitting in there all day and no one's bothered to come empty it. The stench was disgusting. But at least they had, like, on the left side, there's the urinal part. Where it's like a little mini urinal that goes in. So it's like, okay, I can pee into that right. and not have to pee directly onto the human feces <laughs> and have it splash back onto Splatter my body. Splatter back onto you. It was the most disgusting thing I've witnessed in my entire life, poop-wise. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty good. It's fucking nope. <laughs> An and while actual you were, nightmare. While you guys were gone using the bathroom, I was hanging out with May and uh, down at the ocean front, they have, like, the little showers where you can rinse sand off of your feet and shit. And then they also have water fountains. 
and I was looking around and I glanced over and I noticed like a grown man with a child of indeterminate gender, I couldn't tell. Child is completely naked, standing in the water fountain, being splashed with water God. by their parent, and I'm like, this uh. is a this is a naked child out on the boardwalk on 4th of July. This child had to be like four. Yep. It wasn't like an infant. It was a child. I'm like, no, this is shit. not okay. <laughs> I need an adult. It's like, why does your kid have to be naked for you to clean them? Like, <laughs> right? did they get that fucking did they dirty shit in the sand? Like, what happened? Holy hell. Oh, God, what the fuck am I doing? Adding a beacon? God, this game. So this is quite tedious. Lame. Uh, I guess I could have. Um, I should have kept playing. I thought I was ready to go to the woods, but I was wrong. I put it right next to the fucking X. Yeah, what do you, you want me to do? You were fucking accurate enough. You fool. Fuck. You absolute fool. There you go. I placed the fucking beacon, you bitch. Yeah. Oh my god. That's how beacons work. Whoa, it's like all the stuff that they put in Breath of the Wild and just let you kind of figure out very quickly and didn't have to just make you sit through a billion years of dialogue. <sighs> but yeah, so overall, 4th of July was yeah, pretty fun. It was a fun time. I was fucking tired at work the next day, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it was exhausting. You had to get up very early. Yeah, I fucking hate that shit. And we always feel like shit when we drink, regardless of the yeah. situation. It always turns out, like, I was but super fucked up the next day. The hot dogs you made were oh, the yeah. best thing they were I've fucking tasted in a dogs. long time. I think it's because we, we drank so many different kinds of alcohol over such a long period of time. Yeah, that's probably part of the issue. Okay, there we go. Okay. I feel bad, because I don't want to make it sound like all of our holidays are boring. <laughs> I don't know, because even like a, I mean, like a couple of years ago. I mean, my family are boring. I can totally. Yeah. Own I mean, up hanging to that. out with the whole family, like, that's obviously going to be boring no matter what. But then it's like, even like New Year's a, a couple of years ago, where it was like, we went and got like that hotel with your mom yeah. and Tyler and Lauren, and like, that was a whole super fun time. Yeah. And it's like, the times haven't been as fun as that lately, over the last couple of years, you know? I think just because everyone's cause, been so fucking yeah, busy. Your mom's got all weird, yeah. and she won't hang out anymore, so then it's just me, you, and the other two, and then, like, th they can get weird sometimes. <laughs> yeah, Lauren definitely has She'll get weird, and then it's like, <laughs> I don't know. And I know. feel bad, because, like... I want her to have fun. Yeah, and then I know they she's won't... stressed out. Yeah, like clearly. And then everyone goes home early, so it's like. Yeah. We just don't really end up doing that much, and then it's like, well, this was just kind of like you know, it's not a holiday. It's like a weekend hanging out. <laughs> yeah. And like nobody drinks, really much at all, <laughs> most of the time. Right. So it just you know, it's not as eventful as it used to be. Yeah, and I mean, obviously that's partially because Tyler is in law school, and he yeah. he doesn't really have the free time that he used to have. Yeah. And I mean, I know Lord is stressed out because of everything going on with them, so I'm sure that's definitely a part of it. There's a lot oh, more stress God, going on. Oh god, these fucking Bacoblins look like ass! These guys look like absolute shit. And then it's super fucking annoying fighting them, because they do the- Talk about the aging app, Because you I have right? to fucking- <laughs> <laughs> they do look old. <laughs> they look like Grandpa Bokoblin. Oh my god, this sucks. Okay. This is pretty obnoxious. There we go. <sighs> the, the combat in this game is going to be a literal nightmare. Like, god, they keep changing stances so fucking frequently. I feel like, like you I just, just have, have to whack at him? and yeah. hope that something good happens. I think I just have to fucking poke at him until he... Let's go. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, do Got him. do like a horizontal spin attack thing yeah. and just fuck it. Just I'm fuck just em. flailing my fucking hands around. This is pretty funny to watch. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay. We need a we need a camera on us for right. this fucking let's play. Okay. I got there we him. Go. Woo. Fucking hell. <laughs> it's just the worst Gee fucking whiz. game. That sure was quite a bit of effort. I can't believe it. I thought I was going to get back into it and be like, oh man, we were all way too hard on this game. It's pretty great. But it just starts off wrong. so bad. Uh, it is pretty fucking miserable. This game is a nightmare. But yeah. 
I mean, I don't know. And then things are going to be different because Tyler's getting ready to move away. Yeah. Well, that could end up leading to more fun because we'd have to travel to go hang out with them. Yeah. Which could be cool. Which could be fun. Get to go to a new place. I mean, it's a place in bumfuck nowhere, but yeah. <laughs> it's better than nothing, I suppose. It's partially my fault for just being so, like... I'm awful at talking to people and making conversation, so I'm just kind of hanging out, and I'm like, if if I asked, if I were more inquisitive about Tyler's life, I could probably, like, have more fun. Uh, but I get it, because then, you know, you'll feel the same way hanging out with, with, with my bro. Yeah. It's like, yeah, these are the, the guys I'm more comfortable hanging out with, so you're going to be less comfortable. Yeah, I mean, that's how it is, you know? Yeah. It's a, a fine balance. Yeah. Whoosh, whoosh. Uh, do you want to keep listening to him talk? I don't know. And then I have the question, you know, do we do we mix it up and bring, like, Conrad and Tyler together and, and see how that works? That would, that would be weird. <laughs> I feel like Conrad and Tyler would be fine together. Yeah. But if Lauren was there, that would be the issue. I don't know. The issue. Because then it's... Because, like... They're weird, you know? So then we're all weird. Maybe it would be fine. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I have my uh, uh, my doubts. <laughs> Get a bunch of weirdos together and it's fine. I do. I, I can imagine Conrad and Tyler being fine. Yeah. Especially because Tyler would have a lot of questions for Conrad. Definitely. And Conrad is great at talking, so, like, I think they would get along. I think that... Even though they're it totally would at different least people. Be like highly be entertaining, fine. if nothing else. Am I supposed to go to the sky or what? You're supposed to go somewhere. Let's see. Oh my god, I don't care. I think he just wants me to fly. Uh oh. <clears throat> to the sky! Wow. Well, that was a great mission. I'm really glad that we went through all that trouble. Yeah. For whatever. Well, we're still hanging out in this forest. This is like the area we were supposed to explore. But they have to teach us, you know, about how we can fly. Ooh. Whoa, you can explore this the big, sky. empty overworld where there's nothing at all to do. Cool. That was another thing about this game, is that you get in, you're like, oh, cool, and you fly around, it's like, oh, this is just a bunch of rocks? What's what's up with the rocks? This, I just... It's not quite uh, Wind Waker levels of f fucking around, uh, flying, discovering things. Yeah. Can you fly too close to the sun? Uh, you can fly too close to that big, swirly dome thing. Oh. Let's see, what's what's around? What is that? I guess I can explore some of these things? That could uh, be neat. It looks like it. It looks like you should be able to go yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I could go to these these little islands. Yeah. That could be fun. I would say so. You can go on, we are on the cruise. Uh, anywho, so that was 4th of July. Yeah. So we had a good 4th of July. It was a good old, it was, it was a gay old it was time. Nice. It was pretty gay. We got to uh, pay sixty dollars for a uh, lift. Yes, for the fucking Uber home because God. it was a nightmare. It was all my fault for making us walk too far from the ocean front. I but mean, we couldn't pay the same amount if we had stayed known, there. Yeah. You know? Because we, like, we were thinking, you know, oh, let's not immediately call the Uber at the ocean front because it's gonna be the traffic's gonna be so bad for them to get to us that it's gonna be really expensive and a nightmare. Yeah. But then it just turned out that the traffic was more yeah because it was the traffic was horrible fucking everywhere and everyone got all the Ubers so the surge pricing went even higher up because there yeah. was no like there was nothing left for us to find. Yeah, it was bad. And it just took tons and tons of time and they kept like the Ubers were all failing to yeah. find us. That's another reason it's why horrible. what it the fuck is this freaking oh, guy? Oh Jesus fucking Christ. That's another reason it would have been cool if I if we could have hung out at the ocean front a little longer and waited for all that shit to chill out. Yeah. Because if we had waited until probably like yeah midnight, twelve thirty. Well, we had to get I'm you sure home. I'm sure it would have been fine, but of mm -hmm. course, you know. It's just damn now we know to slave jobs. hang out on like a a Friday or Saturday where you don't have to work the next day. Well, you know, it's not but, like we can yeah. change what day Fourth of July is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just uh, it is what it is. I fucking What's hate this guy. guy? Can we murder him? Fun, 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 fun island. island. Oh. I guess 
so I gotta come back here later. Ay, ay, ay. We Playing tennis on the Wii. Playing tennis on the Wii. Uh, yeah. what else have we done? Uh... You've been having battles with the healthcare system. Oh, yeah, God. That's fun. Guys, being an adult sucks. <laughs> Hashtag adulting, am I right, lol? Uh, what is there? It's so, it's so degrading and demoralizing. <laughs> I just fucked up. I fucked up giving them my paperwork, and then they took away my health insurance deductible, and so now I have to pay full price for health insurance, which is outrageous. Yeah. I was paying $350 a month, and now I have to pay $250 a month. I and I have like... to file up for a fucking appeal, which, you know, is a snail mail process that oh, God knows how long that'll take. I'm just fucked. I don't know, man. I just feel like if you're a young person who doesn't use their health insurance that much, you shouldn't be obligated to yes. pay that much for your fucking health insurance. For anyone insurance. who doesn't know, if you don't pay for health insurance in at least Virginia, I don't know about the rest of America, you just, um, they fine you on your taxes? Well, not anymore. <laughs> that law actually was, um, I don't know. I'm reversed. still, I feel like it's questionable how... I'm, Dude, I'm, uh, Tyler told yeah. me, and he would know. I He's in Tyler fucking law school. <laughs> So I should probably just stop paying for health insurance for the rest of the year. I mean, you said you have catastrophic health insurance, right? But yeah. catastrophic health insurance shouldn't be two hundred. Yeah, it's two fifty a month. So like, I might as well insane. have nothing, you know. So I'm saying. I just get concerned uh, because you are prone to having weird yeah. things happen. But like, ugh. Like, what if you have an anaphylactic reaction to something again, and But it's also, like, it's, you know, I'm, I'm losing $1,500 regardless. <laughs> It'd be a lot more than $1,500 yeah, to probably. go to the emergency room. I promise you that. God. I'm such a broken boy. I need insurance. Yeah. I'm just but too scared. <laughs> I love smacking Lee yeah, on the ground. Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm just scared of what could happen. Ooh. And really, it only has to be a couple of months, and then you can get on my insurance. Yeah. And everything will be okay. Well, a couple of months. Meeting. Less what, than a year. Nine months? <laughs> yeah. That's not that long. It's Fuck, a bunch of money. We gotta fucking start actually getting serious about that. What, the wedding? Yeah. We had plenty of time. We're doing the simplest Bitch, possible thing. if we're planning thing. to go to Japan, we need to start okay, planning yeah. that shit now. Planning Japan, yes. I was like, thinking, we like, need the actual to, wedding. We need to be getting tickets. We need to be looking at rooms. You were right. We could do that. We need uh, to be deciding when exactly we we're today. going. We, we can fucking get on that shit. Yeah. I hope I was supposed to chop up that bamboo, because that's what I fucking did. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. What's going on here? Oh <clears throat> this character looks like one of the fucking dudes in a Dead Dead Demons Dead Dead, Dead Destruction. <laughs> nice. Except, you know, I'm uh, sure he's not nearly as cool. This guy is a competitor on Knife or Death. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> he, uh, every time he swings the sword, he goes, HA! Fuck yeah, I'm trying to slice some bamboos. Didn't we just slice the bamboo? Yeah, but now... Get your horses holded. I'm gonna Get take my, my horse, I'm gonna hold my horse. I'm gonna Get hold a strangle my horse. Of my horse. Let's see. I'm holding my horse. Holding on to my horse. Yes. We can't escape Old Town Road. Yeah. It's haunting us. Still. You betcha. What is the object of this game? I'm just get slicing? Slicing bamboo. Like, I'm just getting slicing? Getting slice. Getting slice. Is it like a speed thing? I think so. Do it. Go. Well, it's just like knife for death. Whoa! Yeah! For those 23 times. who are uninitiated, knife for death is a competitive show in which people bring their own weapons, a bladed weapon, it does not matter what kind. Yes. And then they put them through an obstacle course where they have to, like, chop stuff and and test yes. their weapon in various ways. It's like and Ninja it's Warrior, except they're chopping things, and it's the best thing ever. The best it's thing also is horrible. Always... <laughs> Seeing the fun. white people who bring a katana yes. on and they come in like full hakama and you're like, uh... These fucking okay. white fucks. Always with their fucking big ol' katanas and shit. And he's like, oh, where'd you get this sword? And he's like, uh... The mall. <laughs> <laughs> because apparently you cannot take katanas out of Japan, their national treasure. No! Oh, I failed to chop! 
You would have done really good on that one, too. This sword does not cut. This sword will not cut. So Knife or Death is actually based on the show... It's Forged a spin-off in Fire. of Forged in Fire, which is actually the most wholesome thing I've yes. ever seen in my entire life. It's quite... It's the best reality show that's ever been created, for sure. Forged in Fire is actually great because it takes talent... Yes. It's just a competition of who can forge, like, the most durable, sharpest sword in a particular amount of time with, like, yes. certain setbacks. Like, they have to use uh, well, it, fucking it's, metal it's, it's, from, it's, you know, whatever bullshit. structured like Chopped, you know? Like, yeah. like the show Chopped. It is structured like Where, like, first they have to uh, create the blade of a knife. God damn it, I really fucked this up. Yeah. They have to, they have to make... Like, they have to make a knife. And so first they make the blade of the knife, and then they, they eliminate someone based on who made the shittiest blade. And then they make the handle of the knife, and they sharpen the knife so that they can put it through some cutting uh, cutting exercises where they'll, like, fucking, you know, cut a chicken in half or whatever the fuck. And then it narrows it down to two people who have, like, five days to go to their home forge and create a historic weapon. Which will, uh, you know, they've made, like, fucking Zwei handers and, and katanas and all kinds of shit. And it's a whole bunch of fun. And then they bring the weapons back and they, they do goofy tests with them. Yeah. And it's the best time. It's pretty good. And then all of the judges on this show are, uh, pretty great. Yes. Especially the, the little Asian dude who's always, who tests the, the little sword. Asian dude. And he's always just like, your sword will cut. And you're just yeah. like, yeah, hell yeah, this sword cuts. He's a good You're man. You're damn right. I don't remember his name, but he's precious, and I love yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> They're all wonderful. They're it's great. just all these gruff dudes going, oh, this sword will cut. Oh, oh, that's a fond blade. God the, damn it. The, no! The... No! Yes, yes, oh, yes, shit, yes! Oh, damn it. I did not break my score. Nice. The uh, historical weapons guy is great. The older dude who always, who has the handlebar mustache and yes. wears a vest. <laughs> Brutalize that just, bamboo boy! It's evil crystal. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? Why does this guy have an evil crystal? Yeah. It seems. Well, strange. clearly he'll give me all kinds of cool items, so maybe I should keep doing this shit. He wants you to do 28 chops next time. Fuck me. 28 fucking chops. Jesus fucking Christ. I gotta, I gotta practice on this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's see it. Whoa. Damn it. Oh, I keep getting too far away. Mm -hmm. uh. Whoa. I don't know how many chops that was, but it was probably pretty good. Yeah. Let's see. I'm in. Let's do this. This game. is clearly the best part of this game. <laughs> There's no Chopping superior them. challenge. I just get to chop the bamboo. <laughs> it's the only point of the game. <laughs> Got this. Alright, here we go. No! Don't, don't go away! <laughs> don't stop it! No! Uh, ah, 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 no! Aww. Stop! <laughs> Oh. Why does it keep going away? <laughs> Come back. Mm. Alright. There's let's, no let's prize do for this again. sloppy slicing. Clearly, I need to learn the technique. I feel like... Oh, a longer blade. Yeah, you do. Oh, you I need to get a better sword. You need a longer blade. Okay, so I need to get, like, the master sword. <laughs> and not this fucking fag sword. Fago. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Holy shit. Yes. Oh yes. my god. The perfect form. That was a. Uh, All overhead slices. That was really good. Yeah. <laughs> if only it had actually counted. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I guess I'll get anyway. out of here. We're just getting the lay of the land here in uh, Skyward Sword. Hopefully, we're still <laughs> recording this Let's Play and it didn't um, break on me. Hopefully. I guess I'll check. Yeah, the paranoia sets in. Do 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 do. I'm checking to make sure we didn't fuck up. Do 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 do. Yeah, we're still recording. We'll just keep going forever. I don't give a shit. Connor and May put out fucking two and a half hour long live stream fucking let's plays. What are, <laughs> what are we doing anymore? Why are, why 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 know. why stop these after thirty minutes? Uh, What's the point? All it does is derail. I suppose so. We'll just keep it going. No one who's still watching this show gives half of a shit. We've already established that. There's already gonna be- I've already just awoken three comments about how, uh, they don't care about literally anything that we do. <laughs> mm. 
or advice on uh, how we should do a better job. Yeah, do a better job of this thing that we do extremely casually that is not profitable in the least. Yes. Can't even have a fun let's play back and forth with Connor and May because we don't watch their uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke and they don't watch our shit anymore. <laughs> so there's there's no uh, there's no interaction at all. Yep. We're just fucking shitting in the wind. <laughs> Made it a lot easier when we had ongoing conversations to kind of uh, uh, have takes about. Yeah. <laughs> now we're just shitting in the wind. Farting right into the wind. Yeah. Man, we watched a random movie on Amazon the other night. Oh yeah, that was cool. Female was Prisoner Scorpion Jailhouse 41. Yeah. This was, that was a the most random movie thing that we turned out totally to be cool. randomly clicked on. Yeah. And it turned out to be fucking awesome. Okay, I'm glad you would, I couldn't tell how much you were liking it because I loved it a lot. It was super <laughs> cool. I was like, dude, this is fucking I sick. Was very sleepy because I had been working that day, but the cinematography of this movie was just insane. fucking nuts. Like it was the all stuff over the place. That they visually did in this movie was fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it was highly inspiring. Clearly, this is some shit where I have to do some end game running around getting these treasure chests or something. I thought the goddess sword would open them. No, I guess not, not. happening. What the fuck even is this place? But yeah, so what was that movie about? Talk about the plot. <laughs> the plot is literally that there is, like, some badass girl who is in jail and the officers are really mean to her and they're trying to drive her insane because uh, she fucked one of them up and, like, gouged out his eye or something. Yes. We never learned what she did to get yeah, in Yeah, you never learned what her crime was. Yeah. Um, but she fucked up one of the wardens and so now he's, like trying to drive her insane because he, yeah. he needs his revenge. The movie opens with her trapped in a Dark Souls dungeon jail yes. cell and she's fucking sharpening a knife on the floor with her teeth. She's literally like hogtied. So she has a spoon in her mouth yes. and she's just scraping it against the ground over and over and over and you slowly, slowly see it being whittled down into a knife and you're like Oh my god. And this girl Holy just shit. has the most fucking gangster face in the world. It's completely deadpan. She just has just, this oh. fucking fierce face the entire movie, and it's the only thing she does is have this fierce face. And you're like, yes, this <laughs> bitch is gonna says fuck shit almost up. Almost nothing. She says maybe five words in the entire yeah, movie. I would say the only negative part of the movie is that she doesn't actually do that much. Yeah, <laughs> like she's the just other kind of women there. kind of do more because like she ends up getting out of like, breaking out along with these other women, one of them who is a fucking psychopath who murdered her children. Yes. And, like, it's just so, an interesting sort of ragtag gang of uh, hooligans. Of female prisoners female trying prisoners. to run away. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously the grand point of the movie is to, you know, highlight the, the, the oppression that is happening to women in the society and how men are what drive women to yes. do terrible things sometimes. The idea that that women would not inherently do crime if it weren't for men driving them to do it. And I mean, it's Just a pretty broad uh, yeah. statement to make. It was definitely a fuck, fuck the system, fuck men kind of yes, movie. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Especially because our, uh, our our heroine Scorpion gets raped pretty early yeah. on in the movie. Because she gets raped to deter the other prisoners from acting out. Yeah. Because she was seen as, like, their, their hero. Yeah, she's, like, their rebel leader. And so she gets raped, and then all the other prisoners turn on her, and then she, when she escapes with them, they're basically fucking jackasses to her the whole time. And then another girl gets raped at some point. And any time... She gets like, raped to death. Yes, this girl gets raped to death. She gets raped to death. Because she's getting raped by this river and her head is going under the water while they're raping her. And so she drowns while she's being raped. Yes. As these three guys take turns raping her. Yes. And it's very fucking dark. It's very, it's very dark. And it's also... Like, any time that it's showing guys raping a girl, they're having, like, these fucking cartoonish, insane these faces insane and just cackling. Faces. Like, they're having the most pathetic, amazing time of their life. Yes, it's and not it's just meant to be, like, it's meant means. to be as disgusting as possible. Yes, it's definitely meant to highlight how disgusting men can be yes. and the way that they're perceived in this, in this universe. And how fucking pathetic they are. It's a very cool movie. But simultaneously, there's the scene where the convicts have hijacked that bus, 
and yeah. they're harassing yeah, just like the normal just people the on the way. bus, and they've become just as disgusting as the people that yes. put them in this position. So you're like, oh yeah, okay, I get it. You know, like that, that's fair. That's Human a fair thing nature to, to criticize. But the men drove them there. Exactly. Ha <laughs> But Ooh. that being said, uh, visually it's pretty fucking badass. Yes, cool, the visuals are just cool fucking story. insane. They do lots of, uh, there's a, a, a certain camera trick you could do. It's like a, I forget what it's called, but they, they'll put like a warped piece of glass in front of the lens so that an object that's really close and an object that's really far away are both in focus. And like a lot of this movie was doing that. Anytime it was like a close up on a character's face just on their eyes and then in the background you can also see somebody like they're using special techniques to pull that off which is why it's so fucking cool and there's a shot where like oh my god what's happening i think scorpion was choking one of the guards while they're in the van and the camera is spinning around them as they're rotating and she's choking him and you're like like, what? It was kind of that snorry cam visual where, like, the camera is locked in with them, so they are stationary in the frame while the background is spinning incredibly fast in a, in a tight and close space. So you're like, this is just a fucking clusterfuck of a visual. It's quite a lot. And that's a really cool shit. Really interesting color There's, palette. Yeah, the of, lighting like, and the and colors blues. are are really interesting. And then it was, like, you know, super fucking lo-fi old film vibe, but then, like, anamorphic lenses. Yeah. And then like, the other thing was, super like, neat. Scorpion is really, really pretty, but uh-huh. the other female prisoners are, like, just normal-ass-looking Japanese yes. ladies. some ugly Japanese just ladies. kind of, yeah, some real ugly people, and you're just like, <laughs> wow, this is a primarily female cast movie with primarily normal-looking people. Yes. That's kind of insane. I guess because it's some B-movie. But then the performances were fucking the, yeah, great. Yeah, they're like, like really good. God, the fucking main scary lady oh, is she's insane, horrifying. She's the so face scary. of this lady is so <laughs> just disturbing. And she makes these crazy grotesque faces. She's always making this face where like she's got her face. Her chin is tilted down. So she has like a double chin. And her eyes are super wide. And she's like glaring upwards. And you're just like, oh, it's so spooky. I guess I'm supposed to be dousing because it keeps fucking screaming at me to douse. Please douse! Ah! Zelda's this way. Whoa, it's the way that I would have intuitively gone anyways. Because there's a barrier. <laughs> the shit had to alert me to the fact oh, that I should go man. the obvious way to go. Ay, ay, ay. The graphics are just so weird in this game. It's like, very it's that bizarre. weird blur where it's like two textures put on top of each other or something. Yeah, it's like, it weird. seems like they did this as an aesthetic. Right? Like, it feels but, intentional, but simultaneously, it, it's not good. It's, like, it's kind <laughs> of interesting in a way where it almost makes, like, a like a pastel painting kind of look, but it is weird. Yeah. I don't know. And it makes everything feel like I'm playing Winnie the Pooh. I feel like I'm playing a Winnie the Pooh game. <laughs> with this corny-looking woods. Oh, God. I remember hating this when oh, I first nice. played it, and I still hate it now because it just looks corny and stupid. Yeah not super awesome it just looks super unmemorable what in, in the like, fuck is gamey. going on here uh it's a tanuki i guess i guess um we found gurgi whoa gurgi yeah um but that being said Female Prisoner Scorpion Jailhouse 41 is on Amazon Prime for free if you have yeah, a Prime subscription. Yeah, definitely recommend for uh, if you an have, interesting time. Uh, an hour and a half to spare, <coughs> it's worth your time. If you're if you're looking for inspiration in cinematography and you feel like you you want to feel like fuck, that's right. Shit used to be way more experimental. It is insane and, interesting. and cool. If you like movies with a, a cool, badass female protagonist and also a bunch of scary ladies. There's, like, random Rakugo. Yeah. Like, it'll just be, like, an old woman singing and telling the story of these women. Just, like, crazy shots yeah. where just it'll... Yeah, exposition, but it's exposition in a really creative way. Yeah. It'll show a shot and then it'll, it'll like, zoom... This camera will zoom into something in the background, and then they go back to the same shot, and it does it again, and then they go back to the same shot, and it Yo, does it again, and you're like, that repetition. is fucking crazy. It does not give a fuck at all. Not at all. 
This was probably a no budget movie, so yeah. I mean, you know, they could do whatever the hell they wanted. Considering it's no budget, though, they have some really interesting set pieces. Yeah, like the mudslide and, like, village, really interesting. Uh -huh. It's the perfect example of a low budget movie because it just focuses on really interesting aesthetics, having a decent plot and characters, and just being a fun time. It was inspiring. It definitely made me go like, oh my god, I could do something like this, and it won't be the worst thing ever. <laughs> it was uh, a great random find. I hate this fucking game. I hate this these safe statues. Bad. It's so stupid. There's so many birds. Look at the stupid this does woods. look like a goddamn Winnie It the looks Pooh like game. Winnie the Pooh! Yeah. It looks like Alice in Wonderland! This is some baby sh baby game shit for What babies. the fuck? As Link goes around with this doofy walk, and then you have to struggle on every fucking stupid enemy. God. Breath of the Wild is a truly a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> it's both like, I love some of the ideas here, but... It's just so weird. It's like too many things at once, you know? Like, the Wiimote stuff could be fine if it just looked like the Wind Waker, but then it's like, you've got the Wiimote stuff on top of the weird vibe yeah. and, like, the, the weird graphics. There's too many layers of just random shit. It's too hard to do diagonal slices instead of horizontal slices with this fucking Wiimote. Am I, like, do I have to spin it sideways to do the horizontal slice? No, because that was a... Okay. Mm. Just gotta be really careful. All right. There you go. Fuck it. Very nice. Jesus fucking Christ! Look at him spin his hand. Wink. <laughs> it's all wrong because Link is right-handed. There you go. <laughs> He's meant to be left-handed. This can game's alive. Can you change it? Depending on what your um, preferences oh, are. I wonder if you can. I'm pretty sure you can. I feel can. like you should be able to. Otherwise, people who are left-handed would really be fucked. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. The Wiimote's not really meant to be the left hand. I guess it could be. I don't why see not? why it wouldn't. It's kind of symmetrical. Yeah. Why couldn't it be? I guess maybe it can. Maybe you have I to do no that reason. in like the, the actual Wii menu. Yeah, I think you have to actually change it in your settings. Um, yeah. I don't think you can destroy this thing. I know. Okay, I'm cool. Just, I'm just attempting. You gotta go talk to the hedgehog guy. I'm just okay. telling you that right now. I'm too busy playing Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, that's or fair. Or Conker's Bad Fur Day, whoever this is. I don't know. Fucking Winnie the Pooh's Star Fox Adventure. Mm, basically. God. We, uh, had a new culinary experience the other night, too. Ah, uh, when you said culinary, I thought colon. <laughs> I was like, uh, I'm having new experiences with a colon all the time. <laughs> They're never good. <laughs> well, yeah, What did course. we experience? Was it the, the burger place? Yeah. Yeah, it was neat. We went to a place called Oishi Burger. <sighs> they had, like, fucking deep-fried burgers, bro. It was, burgers. like, deep-fried deep fried memes but with burgers correct it's exactly like fucking that fucking motherfucking katsu burger dog the katsu burger was pretty good we got i got a beef katsu burger with a crispy pork belly yeah and we got okonomiyaki which was yeah. fucking delicious it's like a little pancake that's not going to be interesting to anyone <laughs> Hey Unfortunately. Man, maybe people like to hear about food excursions. I don't know. Oh my god, he wants me to fucking douse. Why don't you go talk to the hedgehog Where guy? Where is he? Where? I don't see him. Where Come back go? here, swing a left. Left is a bit... There, he's right there. He's right there. I can't right navigate this stupid right place because it all looks awful. <laughs> well, I'm not disagreeing with you, but... Where did he... Oh. I think you're he looking at the right bush, there. dude. I no, no, I swear to god, he was there. He's right fucking there! What the fuck? He's running away. Oh, he's away. like walking oh, okay. away. Where? Oh, do I gotta get the sneak on him or something? Like, what the fuck is happening? Um, I. Am I supposed I to don't douse know? him? Cause he definitely is there. Yes, I know he's there. I'm aware of this. There we go. Oh, am. okay. Whatever. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Oh, so we're doing one of these. Fuck! Now we have to chase him around. Great. That's awesome. Wonderful. This is just super duper. I am so excited for whatever this is. I'm chasing around some hedgehog man. That is my favorite thing. There he is. We um also saw the dead don't die. What did you think about the dead don't die? Oh, I don't like, barely remember. <laughs> that was the Bill Murray so, movie. Yeah, the dead don't die. For those who are not aware, 
is a zombie movie that's really just kind of like a slice of life dry comedy more than anything. It's very pointless and vapid. It is quite pointless. You watch it and you go, well, I'll never see that again in it my life. It makes pretenses, like it has something big and important to say, but I mean, not really. Yes. The best part about it is really that it, uh, Bill Murray and Adam Driver are in it and they play these two police officers in a small town and they have really good chemistry together and like watching them interact is fun. What happens in the movie? Uh... <laughs> There's a, there's a zombie apocalypse in a small town. That's the movie. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I'm just so so anyone listening has some sort of frame of reference. That's why I said it's a, it's a zombie movie, <laughs> but it's also a slice of life because yes. it's just these police officers going about their normal ass business. But there's zombies around. Uh, but I mean, the best part of the movie is really just the fact that Tilda Swinton is in it. And she plays a Scottish alien with heterochromia who has a samurai sword that she uses yes. to kill the zombies. Even though she doesn't really do anything and that doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, so it's also like, stupid and pointless. She's cool, though. There's like one scene where she kills some zombies. Yeah, but then she gets sucked up into the flying saucer and you're like, yeah, oh shit. There's a UFO she in the was end. An alien it's very dog. stupid and annoying. And then uh, at the end of the movie, there's a big monologue about how. Everyone is dumb and vapid, and the Game Boy Color is the death of society. I guess. Um, and we, we're all fucking up. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's the point of the movie, is that we're all a bunch of dumb idiots, and we've wasted our lives. Yes. You, I the think. audience, you, the audience who came to and paid for this movie, are a stupid asshole. Why did you come see this movie? That's generally, that's what it was about. It yeah. was just a movie for a director to work with some actors that he really likes and for them to all have a bunch of fun together jacking off. Like, yeah. that's what the film is. I mean, there are bits of the film that I think are genuinely entertaining and, like, pretty funny. Like, when Adam Driver pulls up in his tiny smart car and just yes. gets out and no but one says anything about this it. This is a two second visual gag yeah. in a, like, two hour long movie. It's, like, that doesn't I'm not redeem saying it the justifies movie. the movie existing. Yes. I'm just saying that there, there are aspects to it that are charming and funny. It's just, it's an example of, like, how. Oh, the whole movie kind of has to be good sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Where, like, there could be good things in a movie, but ultimately if it ends in a really stupid, unsatisfying way, then it's just like, why the fuck did I watch that? Yeah. Which unfortunately does feel like the case with this movie. Yes. It's unfortunate, but, I mean, that's how it be sometimes. And just how some people would feel about, like, Midsommar, you know? If they didn't like the ending, then they're like, well, why did I sit through that? Because the ending wasn't good, you know? Yeah, I suppose so. And, like, usually I'm not that kind of guy, but the, that movie was definitely like a, well, okay, so this was pointless, alright. <laughs> it didn't go anywhere, and it was stupid. And I guess it was just even funnier, because we were in the theater with probably, like, what, 15 other yes. fucking normie nerds? And, and there were people like, walking uh, out going, like, well, that movie was terrible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not sure what you expected, but <laughs> this is exactly what I expected, because we saw our review first. <laughs> right. Which it's like, there's a, there's some interesting things that happen on a very surface level, and like, explaining them to you is the most interesting way to consume that. Yeah. <laughs> because like, actually seeing it is not more interesting than someone just telling you what happens. Uh, I agree. Nick Spears did a, uh, a decent review on it, so if you guys are really curious about what happens in the movie, I would say just yeah. go watch that. She does a better job of explaining it than I could, so, mm -hmm. you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it made me curious oh, I found enough. Him. Hey, I wasn't even looking for him. But I found him. It made me curious He's enough about it. the movie to go see it, so I guess that's a win. What the fuck is he doing? He's fucking <laughs> crawling around like a little cuck. You know. Man. <laughs> oh, I think they just kill all the grass so he can't go anywhere. I guess. I think he keeps trying to hide yeah, in the grass. Yeah, he's hiding in the grass. Link's Too bad slicing the grass service. is incredibly frustrating and totally not satisfying. I really miss playing Hi. Twilight Princess where all I needed to do was flick my wrist for Link to swing his sword around. Ravioli. That was perfectly Ravioli. satisfying for me. I didn't need one-to-one -one Link control. Oh, okay. God. Oh, this is a different guy. I see. I guess we're still looking for Zelda. 
All right. Grown. Well, that's fantastic. I'm super excited about that. Grown. Oh, uh, well, let's see. We also finished Sara's on my. Oh yeah, that was fun. How'd you feel about Sara's on my? It was real good and cool. It was pretty gay. It was extremely gay. It might be one of the gayest anime ever made, which it is very empowering. Actually, be the gayest thing. I felt I've gay. Ever seen. I felt queer. I felt very proud to be gay and queer. <laughs> yes. It was a perfect gay pride anime. It's true. It is the perfect gay pride. It may have been the gayest anime ever made. Wow, that guy got fucking wrecked. And at the end, you're like, "Am I an otter? Am I a kappa?" I don't fucking know. Am I both? Who knows what the fuck happened here? But it wrapped up very nicely. Yeah. Uh, would recommend to yeah, people. Yeah, if you uh, it's enjoy not easy to explain. Kuniiku Ikuhara, then I mean, yeah, you'll probably like this. So. Kuniiku Ikuhiku. Go for it, my dude. Why are there Why are there murkrows? In I don't know, but they're pooping on me. No. Oh god, I'm, I've got intoxicated from their stupid poop. Oh my god, the poop is just riding on your shoulder. This is quite the game. Oh, the poop is literally on my arm. It's oh my god. It's literally riding on you. Jesus know. fucking Christ. Yeah. I'm literally covered in poop. <sighs> this oh, is man. the worst fucking game. Mm. I just got poop on my body. <laughs> I'm playing Zelda and I got literally <laughs> shit on it. Playing a shit game, getting shit on. Pretty, pretty accurate. Nah. Grah. Ah. All right, I gotta stop fucking around with this poop crow. Yeah. Literally um, getting murdered by birds shitting on me. Exactly. Shitting on him. Man, I just shitted on him. Eh. Eh. Heard from Nicki Minaj in a while. True. <laughs> She's just rolling around in her B buckets of money. Here. Yeah, she got replaced by Cardi it doesn't B. Doesn't matter. Now she's gone. She has her money. She's good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> she's good to go. Sometimes you just need to be rich, and then you're fine. <laughs> wow. You don't have to worry I about would anything say that's else. That's probably fairly accurate. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I'm playing, I'm playing Minecraft. Mm -hmm. Uh. Just playing near Automata for a little bit. I'm not into it. I don't know. People near lose their shit for some near Automata, 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 and I'm just Automata. like, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't like open I mean, world games. It's isn't not it mostly me. because people want to fuck 2B? But it's also like it's a, considered a masterpiece game. Like, the wanting to fuck 2B is just the side <laughs> it's note. It's just a, to a like, symptom of the disease. Like, people like Nate and stuff consider it to be this big, amazing masterpiece. And I know the story gets really insane and has much to say about humanity and whatever the fuck, but, like, Whoa. on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, it's just a grindy, open-world game, and I, I'm i not into it yet. And I played it for, like, 15 hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's taken a little while to fucking to get me on this. My biggest problem with every open-world game is that you can't tell at what point you're supposed to approach the side quests. Because, like, you think, oh, it gives me a bunch of side quests, I should just do them all immediately, right? Because, like, they're they're available, you should do them. But then there'll be, like, a varying difficulty in level. And then this is a game that is, like, the level system seems to have a huge impact, and it's not quite as easy to just go up against some shit that's ten levels higher than you because you feel like you're wasting your time trying to do it when it's difficult because if you just level up it's gonna be fucking easy as shit yeah so then you're just like well uh i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing and all these missions are exactly the same shit it's you know escort a fucking stupid slow robot through the desert or fucking like some of the stuff is fun where you're like racing a guy and you race around and you run around and you're like oh this is cool i didn't know this stuff was in the game and then other stuff is just like well i'm just playing a uh, watered-down Bayonetta and it's not as fun and I don't really care. Uh, the music's pretty nice, though. Yeah, the music is very nice. Like, there's definitely, like, I could tell this is, like, if I really put in the time, I would probably end up loving it, but it's just like, right now, I'm like, I don't feel like spending 60 hours getting into this game, especially because I know you have to beat it multiple times to get the good endings. <laughs> so it's like, okay, so I'm not having fun right now through playthrough 1, when will I get to have fun, and how when many times am I going to have to do... Reach. Like, do I have to do all these stupid side quests again on the second playthrough? I don't know, because I would hate that. Because <laughs> these side quests fucking suck. 
I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. Oh god, this is the worst. This is pretty bad. Uh, 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 Skyward board. Hey Look. Listen. Can I dive? Can I go under? I would. Do I need the boots or something? Oh, maybe. Can I swim fast? No. Yeah. Well, everything I mean, else they gave me a tutorial for. At least you can uh, look forward to uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah. Well, first I have casuals. next week. I've got Fire Emblem, which hopefully won't be a big shitty nightmare, <laughs> which it could very well be, and Who I'm knows? very afraid because they, you can tell that they're just trying to turn it into Persona, and I don't know why. Because Persona fucking sucks and I hate it. Oh, and geez. fucking Fire Emblem is shit. It is not anything like Persona. So I would love it if they didn't turn my favorite franchise into Persona, a game that I don't fucking like. <laughs> a game that I can't get into but at you all can because fuck it's your fucking 99% reading and I don't care about reading. <laughs> and, oh yeah, Victor is illiterate. Don't forget. Because I don't, you know, I go to play games to relax and have some cathartic movement and not to just sit there and read a book. If I want to read a book, I'll go online and find a fucking book, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to read a book. I want to play a game. That's why I'm well, here. Well, I mean, you can't because you can't read. I want to turn my fucking brain off and, and do some repetitive motions and have a good time. Yeah, you can do some repetitive motions. Yeah. Hey wanking it. You set me up, dude. Yes. I couldn't, I couldn't not. Exactly, because I need to move my arms and do something <laughs> in a way that isn't just Jack and Goff. <laughs> Ugh. Uh. I just want something that's slightly more fulfilling than wanking my dick, okay? <laughs> Where I don't have to read. <laughs> uh. But hey, at least, you know. In cool, I didn't even know there were heart containers in this game. That's Whoa, nostalgic. Very nice. <laughs> But hey, at least in a couple of months, the uh, Switch Lite will be out, and Yay. then we can play Switch together! Yay! So we can spend $120 every time a game comes out. Yay! But it does look great. The Switch I mean, Lite looks amazing. it'll be a really good time. The Switch Lite. It's your girlfriend's Switch. Exactly. <laughs> As you <That's>, said. <laughs> my, my thesis on the Switch Lite is that, like... People are like, oh, why wouldn't they just uh, make it have, you know, just price drop the Switch? Why come out with the Switch Lite? I'm like, it's because this is your Fools. girlfriend's Switch. Because your girlfriend doesn't need a home console. You already have a Switch. She just wants to play Animal Crossing on, on the Switch Lite. <laughs> yep. She just wants to play Pokemon Sword and Shield and Animal and Crossing. They know that they know she'll spend $200 to do like, that. Everyone's boyfriend isn't going to give up the Switch so that their girlfriend can play Pokemon for a few hours and give up. <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna wait for your girlfriend to get sick of Pokemon. You're gonna get her her own Switch. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get her her own Switch Lite, <laughs> mm -hmm. so that she can play Pokemon while you play Pokemon, exactly. and then you can you can be like, oh, we're gonna play this together. We're gonna be able to trade Pokemon and stuff. But then you're gonna get way too far, way too fast. And then she's never gonna beat the game. And that's how it's gonna go. Yeah, because your girlfriend <laughs> has a job that she goes to eight yes. to nine hours a day. Exactly. And uh, she has too much time already being promised to her wage slave job. I'm joking. <laughs> wow, got him. But yes, I'm excited. I, uh, I'm gonna buy the turquoise one. Yeah. I want the Hell yellow yeah. one. We're just gonna get two. We're gonna have three you switches don't need in the house. Switch. Yeah, but it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of like the yellow Nintendo one, owns my life and I like it. I'm just afraid if I got the yellow one that it would like get scuffed up. Yeah, maybe. I'm a lot. It's not white. I do like it's... how how nice and sunny it looks though. It's yeah. quite cheerful. It's quite attractive. They're all very fucking good. They great. all look good though. Can't wait yeah. to get my hands on that shit and just fucking hold it. Fucking touch it. I mean, you're just gonna be holding mine. Yeah, and then I'm gonna give it back to you. Yeah, because you have your own. And switch. then you're gonna be like, "Why do you keep playing my switch?" I'm like, "It's so beautiful." <laughs> it's gonna be a smaller screen meant for smaller hands because it's yeah. meant for girls. Exactly, it's it's meant for girls. Let's look at the colors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look at your color options. This is the version of the console for girls. Exactly. It's like there's already a black one for boys. That's your yeah. That's your option. Gray. Sorry. Exactly. If you're a boy, gray is what you get. And they have the blue and yellow ones for girls and your your little siblings. Exactly. <laughs> because they're like, wait a minute, we've we've made all of our money selling multiple consoles in a household. How are we gonna do that with our three hundred dollar <laughs> Switch? Shit. Oh, no. 
That being said, if you guys want to give me money to buy a uh, Switch Lite, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm teasing, <laughs> don't do that. I'm just kidding. I'm memeing because it's real funny that we uh, bought the Switch for free. <laughs> yeah, we did get the Switch for free. Uh, but that was at a different time where I was a broke boy. That's very true. And it's the only money we've ever asked for from our audience, besides the money from our live stream that never went to us. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, guys. I guess it did because Conrad bought a bucket of alcohol on the 4th of July, so there you go. That, that, that was equivalent. That thing was fucking pathetic, though. It was pathetic. That bucket was not a bucket. And cheap and awful. Fuck that thing. Uh, I can sit down. Whoa, amazing. 10 no! out of 10. Classic. Ami wow. Where Never mind. My I dig going? has been this blown off. This is just off. the worst fucking area of all time. It just sucks. I hate it. God. Yeah. But I mean, you know, yeah. that being said, Got you know, him. having no time to uh, play video games because of your, your wage slave job. So yeah. I'm finally getting kind of comfortable in my, my new gig. Uh, you know, yeah, they're thinking, talk about your job. They're thinking I'll be off of my orientation around the end of August. Uh, and the position that I signed on for is, whoa, this guy just looks like a set of balls, but okay. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, God. Yep, this is just shit a big on his face. set of balls. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah. Where's Zelda? Okay. Oh. The Jesus girl Christ. creature. Okay. This game is poisoned. Fuck. Holy shit. This man has a giant turd on his face. It's just a big old ball sack with a turd. <laughs> a pair of sweaty balls covered in shit. <laughs> Amazing. Just like this game. <laughs> You're literally getting shit on by birds. You have to look at big hairy testicles. <laughs> what the fuck uh, were they thinking? Uh, I hate everything. Oh god, now I can sense kiwis. <laughs> Great. No, we know how to switch dowsing targets. Fuck! Oh no, I asked for a tutorial, didn't I? Yeah, I think you did. Again, no! please? No! <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, I used to get trapped in this when I was a little kid because you'd be talking to the fucking owl guy in Ocarina of Time and you'd be so sick of it that you'd just keep You're mashing B and then he would just keep repeating it and you'd go, why will he stop? Because I'm not paying attention <laughs> and I just keep hitting reading. the same shit. God. <sighs> so now we have to find more fucking kiwis. Are you fucking serious? Yes, oh my God. unfortunately. <sighs> I hate everything. I, I, I hate everything so much. There's a guy over there. Yep. How many of these fucks do we have to find? Uh, anyway. I don't know. <clears throat> Probably a lot. Probably. Anyway. Yeah. So, while I've been on orientation, I've been working full time, but the uh, position is actually a part time position, like once I'm, I'm fully trained. Yeah. And uh, everyone seems so eager to be like, oh, well, don't you want to go full time? When are you going to, you know, are you going to apply for this full time position? You know, blah, 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 full time, full time. You should be full time. And I'm just like, you know, I don't know if I want to work full time if I don't have to. Yeah. Why would I want to commit 90% of my life to doing this all the time if I don't financially need to? Like, yeah. I don't have kids. I don't have, you know, any outstanding financial commitments minus my student loans and my car payment and you know rent but whatever it's like i don't know man i'm i, I think i'm gonna just try out that part-time life and see see yeah. how it goes because uh and maybe you could actually like develop a hobby you know be able to have time maybe well. maybe figure something out something else out that you enjoy maybe you could make a little side money doing that <laughs> like that would be interesting <laughs> That's something that people could do, you know. Find a hobby that that you that you love doing. Maybe, maybe start a little sort of start a little side hustle, something like that. I could Uber. if you if you wanted to make more money. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly the opposite of what I'm talking about. <laughs> I could just Uber. Yeah, yeah. you could you Uber could be an Uber driver. Side. Uber on the side. Yeah. Uber in the morning. Uber in the evening. Uber at supper time. <laughs> 
But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know, do feel it out. See, see, see how it goes working, working part time. Who can say? Maybe I hate it'll this. Be fine. I hate this. 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 <sighs> Jesus. Oh God. Why am I running in circles playing Skyward Sword? Oh Jesus. Lost my shield a long time ago. Do I want to go all the way back to town to buy a new shield? Let's give shields durability, they said. It'll be fun, they said. I think I gotta go up there, which means I gotta go around somehow. Yeah. Very likely. Oh, let's make fucking Zelda the Winnie the Pooh, they said. <laughs> It'll be relaxing. I wouldn't. Uh, I mean, I'm not concerned. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I do. I'm look around, look around here. Uh, Link, how do I eat ass? Oh no, you got a prickly stuck to you. Teach okay, me the fine. ways of eating ass. Link, how do you eat Zelda's ass? Teach me how to eat ass. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. Eat ass. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, exactly. Get over there. Um, I gotta go through the tree. Oh god. How could this happen to me? My franchise was good. Miyamoto sucks. Fuck my ass. Ugh. That's, uh, Link was singing that. Yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> no, that was... I was uh, pretty moved. Okay, I think honestly. I gotta go back up to where I started with that. The fat man. Yeah. The fat man on Batman. I gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta go to the bathroom? Yeah. Alright, go ahead. Uh, okay. I can hold this down. Alright. I mean, I'm there gonna, is an awful I'm lot gonna happening. I'm gonna be Link. I'm but... gonna play Skyward Sword. Yeah. It's okay. Eh. This is a let's play. This is a let's play about beating the game. So you don't gotta worry about conversation. This is about watching uh, me suck at the first area of Breath of the, the Skyward. Skyward Wild. Wild Sky Sword. This is my review of Skyward Sword. Uh, it's fucking gay and I hate it. That's a valid review, right? How do I get the bugs? Do I need a net? Do I need a bug net? I need a shield. I'm not going back to town to get a shield. I swing! Okay, so we gotta go through this hole. Oh look, there's bananas. I gotta chop the bananas to get the rupees and the fairies. I gotta get the fairy in my bottle. Where's my bottle? I got a bottle. I'm gonna use it. So then, then I'm gonna I'm gonna get it get get it out. And I'm gonna get the fairy. Get the fairy. I'm gonna get the fairy. I'm gonna get the fairy. I'm gonna get the fairy. I got him. Take the moon. I got the fairy. No, get the fairy. Scoop him. God damn it. <laughs> Motherfucker. <coughs> I wanted to scoop the fairy, not eat the fairy. Eat it. Give me that bug. Scoop the bug. And I'm gonna scoop the bug. And I'm yeah, gonna scoop doing, the bug. You, and I'm gonna scoop the bug. This is wonderful gameplay. Yes, it's quite it's quite wonderful. This is the best game ever made. I'm having a great time. Yeah. Having a chill day. Just hanging out with my girl. Uh bound God, this is the stupidest idea. Why? They just like let's what's every annoying gimmick we could throw the fucking Jostle. weebo? Jostle. Whoa, nice. I'm jostling? Am Jocelyn. I Janice, Janice Jocelyn? Every day I'm ah! like, Jocelyn. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. I hate this game. This is poison. It's toxic. It's Britney Spears toxic. I was I was gonna make that joke, it's but I thought maybe it wouldn't be a good joke, and so I didn't do it. Are we done? Is that it? Have I have no more topics, so unless you about. have something to talk about. I mean, we, we, we only really had little half topics anyways. Oh, well, I mean, you're really bringing a lot to I know, it's here. hard! I, have, I don't do- all I do is work now! Oh, yeah, and me, I don't- And play Minecraft! Well, I can't help you with that one. All you do is work, too! It's all, all we have to talk about is movies! <laughs> I mean, we 
we did kill an hour and 15 minutes. An hour and 15 minutes. So I feel like that's pretty good. We're adults now. Maybe that's what I'll talk about. We're we're, <laughs> we're thoroughly adults. All we do is, is go to work and we watch movies. And I'm, I'm just, I'm tired of having opinions about things in everyday life, so I stopped forming them. <laughs> yeah, for sure, dude. <laughs> I don't know, dog. Dog! Just hanging out, doing her thing. Just hanging out. Hanging out. <whistles> hanging out with the family. Man, Victor, how do you yep. feel about the fact there's going to be seven new Marvel property things coming out I next year? I feel nothing. Are you excited? I, I just, I feel absolutely Gee, nothing. Gee, I'm so excited for the Black Widow movie now that she's dead. I can't even. Cool. Here's the thing. It's just that this shit happens so much. It's like, how can I even have a strong opinion on it? I just don't even, I don't, I don't care. Gee, I'm so excited for uh, The Eternals starring Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Wowie. Great. It's a, a fucking obnoxious Hollywood actress who will never die. Seems dope. Like, who gives a fuck about Angelina Jolie? I don't know. That's what I would be saying Yay. if I could even muster up the, the slightest bit of giving a shit to be able to rant about this. Gee, Victor, how do you feel about <laughs> Avengers Endgame beating Avatar as the number one highest grossing movie of all time? I feel nothing. Disney I feel beat nothing. Disney to be the highest grossing movie of all time. Wow. God damn it. So cool. Where am I going? I I'm figured so this out. I'm so excited that Disney accomplished this monumental task. Ugh. Gee, thank you, Disney corporate overlords, for making this movie. I've been worn down. I'm jaded. I, just, I have no opinion on anything anymore because it's all the same shit. It's all boring. Yay. I don't care about Disney. Oh, but I mean, you know, at least um, we have. Uh, what? Um, Doctor Strange. Captain Marvel. <laughs> Captain Marvel. Um, hey, at, at least everything is diverse. Diversity is going well. We got Falcon. We got um, Captain Marvel. At least we have the possibility of a female Iron Man. Ooh. Ooh. Um, it's okay. Very soon, there will be no white males left in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> It'll all be women and, and black people and exactly. fucking Asian men. Like, that's, that's the inevitable future we're coming to. It's going to go from being, like, 90% white people in Hollywood to being 0% white people white people in Hollywood. Good, that's the that's, way it should be. That's the shift. That's what that's what culture demands right now. Because they'll never stop. They'll never stop being outraged until there's just no white males on the screen. That is the only thing that will satisfy us. And then it'll and then it has to be no white women either. And then it'll have to be no men whatsoever. And then it'll just be black women. When there's no one but black women in all the movies, that's what will be satisfied. Well, and I mean, the next logical step after that is no transgenders. It's, it's only kin. transgenders. Only kin. Only kin. Only yes. people who identify as like a dog. Yes. Or like a willow tree. <laughs> a willow tree. <laughs> <laughs> only, only then will we have true equality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only <laughs> when we're we co we come back around to nothing but animal actors. Yes. Then we will have true equality. But I want to see a Avengers movie where all of the Avengers are dogs. No, it's that they're all CGI people that are all gray, and they're voiced by dogs. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because you can't, the voice actors can't be white males or Hollywood actors. Yeah. They have to be dogs. They have to be neutral. <laughs> Species neutral, please. <laughs> they have to be female dogs, too, because male dogs are too aggressive. Oh, so well, yeah. they'll just be a bunch of bitches. <laughs> Movies will just be about bitches. <laughs> Correct. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. An hour in, and fifteen minutes we spent, and we've have not even gotten through the Winnie the Pooh. We could have watched an entire Pooh Bear movie and had a much more fun time. Yeah, probably. We could have just live reacted to Winnie the Pooh the movie, <laughs> and it would have been better than this fucking game. Oh, Is that what you guys want us to do? God. Should we just start? Should we just start live streaming us watching Winnie the Pooh movies? 
probably more entertaining than this shit. Uh... I'm sorry, I've, I've, I've failed us as Let's Players. Because I, I have no opinions on anything anymore. <laughs> I have nothing, nothing to say. Oh. Nothing to contribute to society. I am in, in deep pain. Yeah, I love you. I love you. Uh, do, 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 do. But hey, at least we have... Um... Gordon Ramsay making scotch eggs? Yeah, we made <laughs> scotch eggs yesterday. That was great. That's what I have Victor, to look forward to Victor, explain what a life. scotch egg is. Because uh, not you, most people probably don't know. You soft boil an egg, and then you wrap that egg in sausage, and then you fucking, like, deep fry... Well, you bread the sausage, and then you deep fry the ball of sausage. <laughs> so it's a deep fried ball of sausage <laughs> with a soft boiled egg in the middle, and it fucks hard. It is it, great. It is delicious, but it will destroy you. <laughs> it was very clean. It will definitely destroy you. It was you. wonderful. I guess we'll stop we'll Stop on that. We got to a save point. We talked about the scotch egg, and uh, I'm sorry. Hey, at least we have... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm reaching. I'm really reaching, y'all. Yeah. What, what do we have? Um, Trump being reelected in 2020. Trump 2020! Woo! Because that is what's going to happen. I guess that's that's a topic. I'm calling it here and now. The 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 that beautiful it's going to happen. reality that that Trump supporters don't have to hide anymore. <sighs> that like. I could see it hanging out with Hope's extended family, who obviously is all of Trump supporters. And it's, it's like, there used to be sort of the secretive shame of the Trump supporter. Like, your parents were a little hesitant, you know? They were a little hesitant to be like, Donald Trump, woo! Like, obviously they both voted for Trump. Yes. Fucking obviously. Yes. But it was still not culturally accepted, so it was like a tongue-in-cheek sort of like, you know, you look at each other like, did you vote for Trump, you know? They, they look for the look in your eyes of like, are you judging me or not? Now it's all like, everyone who voted for Trump is fucking proud. They don't give a shit. All they do is mm -hmm. shit on liberals all the time, and I know because I hang out with a bunch of Trump supporters through working in film. They just shit on liberals constantly, and they're all super proud, and they're all confident he's gonna get reelected. And it's and like, he will. yeah. He'll get reelected. We're creating the ethno state. I yep. hope you're all fucking happy. It's ridiculous. Uh, and it doesn't matter what he says. doesn't matter what he does. He's untouchable. It he's doesn't untouchable. Matter. He was to begin with, and he will continue to be. It's like, this is I the just, guy uh, who said, grab him by the pussy. And yet he still... Here he is. Became, he still got women to vote for him. Yeah, because they like it. I don't understand. They love it. I truly do not Because there's the dark reality that there are women out there who think that's funny or awesome, you know? Who think the, There's that, women out there... There's women because... out there who, who <laughs> care so little about women that they're just like, yeah, haha, that's cool. And there's the reality that Donald Trump has probably walked up to women before, grabbed them by the pussy, and then fucked them. Because he has a bunch of money, and he doesn't give a fuck, you know? Like, that's, that's a dark reality. <laughs> but it's probably true. The reality that he would not have said that if he hasn't gone up and grabbed a woman by the pussy before and had no consequence whatsoever. Oh, I mean, there's certainly no video evidence of, of him uh, casually interacting inappropriately with women. Certainly mm -hmm. no one's ever seen that. There's even, you know, that, that big dude who got, got exposed for being a fucking psycho pedophile mansion island uh, guy. F Epstein. Yeah. It's like people, Trump supporters will talk about that and be like, oh, well, Trump disavowed him back in this year or whatever and said that, yeah, that, that he was a, sure, he was a, he was a, you know, he was up to no good and, and he only said that he was a, he was an okay guy because, you know, that's, that's a, a, a professional courtesy and it's like... <laughs> Whatever. I don't think <laughs> Trump knows what he was doing. A professional courtesy ever, but yeah. whatever. Whatever, dude. You can believe that Trump is somehow not as horrible as every other billionaire in the world as much as you want. <laughs> Make fun of fucking Jeff Bezos all day, yet somehow assume that Trump isn't doing all of the same shit that everyone else is doing. But he tells <sighs> it like it is, so I love him. Yeah, but don't forget, he tells it like it is. 
But yeah, so it's like he's gonna he's gonna get reelected because no one has changed their mind. Everyone who hated Everyone him has still only hates been him. Emboldened by this, yeah. So. And fucking Joe Biden is not going to get the same support Hillary did. And even Hillary was divisive. So if we have an even less exciting candidate than that, like, we're fucked. Because now all the Republicans think of Joe Biden as a fucking joke. You know it because the way your parents will talk about him, like, oh, Uncle Joe. And it's like everyone thinks that he's a fucking child molester. So big. How's he going to beat Trump? He's not going to fucking beat Trump. You're going to have everyone like me who doesn't even go out and vote. Fuck voting. (laughs) Doesn't matter. My district is going to be blue either way. Well, said it a million times. True. My vote doesn't count. The popular vote means nothing. We all know this. It's only by districts. Your district is going to vote the way it does well, because of however it is. And then you my also vote doesn't have matter. the electoral college, which gets fucky too. Exactly. It's like we're not in a swing state, really. I mean, we kind of are. We are, but our district is not. Yeah, but we live in Norfolk. It It's always blue. It's it doesn't black matter. people. Totally doesn't matter. Maybe it will matter this time because now Trump is going to free ASAP Rocky or something. So <laughs> fucking yeah. he'll, he'll actually get the black vote this time. Wow. It's our man insane. Trump sure did spring ASAP Rocky from a Swedish prison. <laughs> okay. God. Sure, dude. And then people will be amazed by like black Trump supporters. And it's like, it's not exactly the most fucking liberal community in the world all the time. Yeah. Like it's very democratic, like socially, but socially, quite conservative yeah, they can still. be very socially conservative and not really give a fuck about it. <laughs> yeah. Jelly blob. There he is. Just come, come 2020. I don't want to hear a lot of bitching and moaning because it's, it's just gonna, it's, it's the, the same shit. The writing's on the wall. The writing's on the wall. I, I no one here is going to be, I, no one here should be surprised. Yes. Put it that way. It's like midsummer. The writing is literally on the wall, folks. Yes, the writing is on the wall. Literally, there's a mural on the wall in Sweden somewhere of Trump grabbing some girl's pussy and then winning the presidential election. It's it's, it's there somewhere. <laughs> Look for it. It's gonna be it, it's some stupid political car- cartoon of like Trump, and he's uh, ooh, I got him. I found the last fucking Tanuki Kiwi fucking douchebag. But it's gonna be Trump, and he's literally signing in. He's he's oathing into the office, and in the other hand, he's got a girl's pussy. <laughs> he's yeah. grabbing a child by the pussy. <laughs> Some child. fucking Russian slave. And, and and Epstein is in the background with with a, a mob of children that he's using for sex trafficking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically. Grab uh, by the pussy. Uh, uh, and nothing will change. Read. Nothing will change at all. It'll be the same shit, and I'll get progressively more jaded and tired of it because everything that there is to say has been said, <laughs> and nothing changes. Ah! Ah! Fuck this Read. shit. Why am I fighting these? I don't know. Okay, I got the last Kiwi. Let's go talk to the big man. I just want to get through this shit, and then we'll stop uh, when we get to the front of the next dungeon. That sounds good. Yeah. Might as well keep it going. I was ready to stop, but then we I was like, oh I can I could rant about Trump and how he's gonna get reelected again. <laughs> yeah. Not Just so feeling, I can call it. Not Just so I can call super it. optimistic about this one, you guys. Cause everyone's gonna be like, oh there's no way you could get reelected again. Why would we because all the it's that all the Democrats attitude, think like morons. Oh, people clearly learn from their mistake and it's like oh, no! Yeah. For He's sure. only gone up in approval from the people that voted He's for him. He's in 50% approval after saying, send her back, about an American citizen! No one cares! Ah! And why no one cares? Because everyone who voted for him agrees! Wow. Big surprise! It's almost like these guys are racist, and their racism is being affirmed! Uh. Good job, guys. Excellent. Yes, let's deport a fucking American citizen. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Ugh. Fucking great job, uh, y'all. This is Doing jump at a wonderful. chance to dehumanize somebody. <laughs> oh, she's a refugee, which means we need to send her back to her home country, even though she literally is a fucking citizen of the United States now. She went through the fucking process. 
She followed the rules. If these people don't care about someone who followed the rules, there's no way in hell we're going to expect them to care about illegal immigrants. Yeah, there's but just she no just, way. Uh, she just took the job of some uh, white politician. Oh, yeah. yeah. By took, you mean she was fucking elected by the democratic process that these people claim to love. Uh, yeah, but she was only elected because she's a person of color and it was a, it was a good uh, strategic move by oh, the Democratic yeah, Party to put her in there. She she's manipulated the voters through her just fucking POC-ness. <laughs> she's literally not even a real human being. She's yeah, just an actress created by the, by the fucking DMC. That's, that's the other thing that really fucking irks me is them calling these these four congresswomen the squad. Like, fucking yep. just demeaning them by saying, oh, the squad. They don't even have names. They're just the fucking squad. Yes. I, oh, fuck. I hate boomers. I fucking hate them. I can't wait for them all to fucking die. Yep. Ugh. Disgusting. It's like, what do you know? Who would have thought the diverse group in the White House would be outed treated for being like diverse trash. and treated like shit? Wow. Big surprise. Way to treat them like actual children when they fucking ran for office and won. The way you're supposed to. Ugh. Uh-huh. What more could they possibly do? I don't Ridiculous. understand. What do you want from them? I guess the only way that they would be deserving of your respect is if they were white men and they were 75 years old. Yeah. Oh, wow. We got um, some ass prizes. That's yeah, cool. great. We have to go grab him out of his ass? Great. I gotta climb him. Super. How do I climb him? I don't know. There we go. Oh. Okay. I got the stupid slingshot. Great. I can't wait for this to become obsolete when I get a bow. <laughs> stupid fucking slingshot. I was hiding that in my ass mm. the entire time. You got a swing shot so you can swing and fly like an insect. <laughs> That's from Ratchet and Clank. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, I'm so excited. Christ second coming of Trump. It's gonna happen. I'm just hoping that the, the positive effect of all this is that our generation actually gets into politics. Like, because I, I feel like the people of our generation who are gonna be into politics are all gonna be the conservative Republican people. And I'm I'm hoping that through the horror that is the, the Trump election and all this shit that, like, that we get some Democrats out of it, you know? That will actually run for office and be politicians. Because the, the liberal democratic people in our generation are all artists and shit, you know? Yeah. There, there's no one going into politics to actually change anything. So it's like if exactly. only the Republican conservative kids are interested in politics and fucking being young Republicans, then we're just going to have a bunch of the same, you know, it's just going to be overtaken by Republicans because there's no democratic options. They're all going to die. All the Democrats will die, which is already happening. All the notable Democrats are gone. Well, all we have is Cortez. Hopefully she inspires more uh, POC women to get into the White House, I guess. I uh, guess, dude. Though why the fuck would you want to when this is how you get treated? Exactly. There's no reason, no logical reason you'd want to per pursue that. Well, but you know, there is also the argument of like, yeah, it's gonna be a struggle and that's what you have to do to get social change is deal with a bunch of bullshit and have a big struggle and then maybe something good will come out of it. That is like true. Like, you should be heeding the call and accepting the challenge, not going like, oh, I got into the White House and everything's supposed to be super fucking easy. It's like, well, the, your whole purpose there is to make change because you know shit is bad, you know? Like, of course people are gonna be fucking assholes. That's no, that's nothing new. It's not gonna change overnight, you know. You're not gonna. She's not gonna get into the White House, and all of a sudden, it's like, oh, you're here. We love you. It's like, no. This is generations of fucking bullshit <laughs> and toxicity. Oh. It's not just gonna change overnight. The boomers aren't just gonna go, oh, you made it. You're here. Congratulations. I gotta get the fucking shit off my head. Congratulations. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, I mean, that's part of fighting for social change. It's like, anything that's ever happened, there's always been a big struggle and people died and there were protests in the street and people getting hosed down. Like, it's never going to be easy. Yeah. Nothing nothing worth getting is easy. This is true. Can't just look at it like, oh, th things are hard and therefore uh, everything is wrong. It's like, oh, well, yeah, that's the point. <laughs> people are assholes. That's, that's what you're trying to change. 
Yeah. Can't just raise a big stink and be like, oh, they're gonna change it because we got mad. And we we got a bunch of people to walk around outside. <laughs> Clearly, they gotta change things. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Did they just now give you a tutorial for vine swinging after you've been vine swinging? I fucking guess. For like a while. I hate this. I hate this fucking game. So much. Oh my god. Okay. Did we finally get out of this area? Oh my god. Yes. Please. Please go into the woods. Uh oh. Ooh, it's the diamond boy. Gay boy! Gaming! Gay ring! <sighs> Smile DK. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, there's more. Oh fuck. Ooh, deep woods. Yeehaw. Them woods is deep. I see, yes. I mm -hmm. I am witnessing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to get to a statue and save and then we're done. We're good. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yes, we know. Please. Every uh, episode of the Skyward Sword is going to be like this. It's going to be a big hour and a half long thing because we'll never get through it if we don't. We'll never get through it if we try to, like, separate conversations and stop it. We have nothing to say. It'll, it'll be an eternity. Oh, Jesus. Oh, the bees! bees! Oh, God, not the not bees! Not the bees! The bees are in my ass! All right, these are gonna kill me. Yeah, those bees are fucking... Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm dying. Of all the times for your fucking stamina to run out. Uh, Rice. Uh, rah! Okay, there's a statue over there. Thank God. Oh, no. Beyond the bees and the ropes. Oh, eh. fuck. Why? It's okay, I got him. Get out of here. I Go think. away! Leave! Okay. I hate this so much. Come on, Link. Get your fucking shit together. Oh, ah! I was thinking you had to turn it, like, vertically to balance. No, I do think you, you just have no, to... No, I think, yeah, you do. You have to turn it vertically. I think. You gotta get vertical instead of horizontal, yeah, bro. Yeah, my boy, my brother. Reed. Ah, fuck you, yeah! Got him. You fucking bitch. A Goron. No! Hey, buddy. Go away! We're trying to save. I hate you. I hate that I have to, like, select this every single time I want to use it, I think. Yeah. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Oh, it just stuns him. So you can get up in there. Ah! Or not. You're too close. Fuck oh you! God, God damn it! All right, clearly I can't go that way. <laughs> Stamina bar was a mistake. Okay, I'm gonna move this thing. Oh, I'm hungry. <clears throat> yeah. What time is it? Um, it's coming up on five. I see. Four thirty-eight. Coming up on five. Yeah. That's the name of my album. Coming up on five. Yeah. yeah. I got. Where the fuck? Almost five. And it's almost five. Uh, yes, I've got almost five and it's almost five. <laughs> Gonna take my five dollars and shove it up my ass because fast food is expensive. Yep. Oh my god, did this loop you back around? Yes. Oh shit. I don't understand uh, where I'm supposed to be going. You're supposed to be going Where's to Tigger, to goddammit? If I'm gonna play Pooper, I, I at least want to see Tigger. Tigger is missing. Where the fuck is Tigger? Where the fuck is Tigger? He was deported. Where the fuck is Tigger? That's he my new raid. He was an illegal immigrant. That's my new, they uh... They deported him back yeah. from the Hundred Acre Wood to, uh, wherever the fuck he came from. How do you say where the fuck is Tigger in Spanish? Uh, donde esta Tigger? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's quite as strong as where the fuck, but it is where it is. I see... Me llamo S. Tigger. Your name is Tigger? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Puedo ir al baño? You Did know you what catch that means? my subtle Teen Titans reference? What? There's some line where it says, Me llamo S. Cyborgo. I think. Um, I don't remember the context. Is it because Mas and Menos speak Spanish? Yes. Okay. I think. It has to be. That's the only way I could see. Jesus Christ. Okay, I gotta jostle them off. Jassle. Uh, just careful with that stamina, boy. What the fuck 
is wrong with you? Oh no. You asshole. Okay, I jostled oh, okay, him cool. off. Thank God. <laughs> oh god. Jostled. Oh Jesus. Oh fuck. It's like I enjoy the concepts of the thing you do in this game. Like, it just feels so shitty to do it. <laughs> like, you know, climbing across the rope and oh you swing to jostle the, the monsters off. Like, yeah, that's a neat idea. I I appreciate it. But that is a totally fine It feels idea. like ass to swing this Wii boat around. Simultaneously, I want to die. I hate this fucking Wii boat. Okay, wait, that was the save point. Yes, Alright, we're, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're getting out of here. This is it. Well, we, we finally got to playing a game, Whoa, you know? We've just been fucking around play. looking for these fucking stupid Kiwis for like an hour and a half, and now we're finally playing the game and we're out of shit to say. So there you go. Yay. <laughs> At least I'm finally fired up enough from ranting about Donald Trump and how fucking shitty this game is. We did it, boys. Now, I have, now there's nothing else to say. <laughs> Except I love hope. And, uh, bye. I love you, Resident Evil 2.